Okay, so as you probably already know, I do not own the business entirely. Um, I have a business partner, Bradley, who owns the company for 50%. So I'll just start with us two. Um, Josh, Bradley, and we are the co-founders of the business. Okay. So from there, we have like three different uh, departments, basically. We have a sales department. We have a project management department. Um, and we have project development. Okay, so that is basically the structure of our business. Uh, we have quite a flat structure, so it's not necessarily that because we're higher up here that we are, you know, we have more power or anything like that. Obviously, we are the owners of the business, but we very much like to keep it flat. And if someone, let's say, for example, someone in the sales department has a suggestion, you know, they can implement it right away. You know, everyone has um, the same amount of freedom, basically, um, you know, provided that the work actually does get done. So the sales department, uh, we have three people in the sales department. Um, I'll just write down the initials just so I can, uh, you know, remember, you know, who I've put where and uh, just for myself, I'm not going to uh, name any names, but um, we have three people in the sales department. I'll just write down the initials here, A, M and D. So basically what they do is they do all the uh, client outreach and all the pre-sales communication. So they'll reach out to clients, you know, they'll send our portfolio to clients, they'll set meetings with the clients and any type of communication, you know, before we actually get them on a call, they do. Okay, so the sales, so the actual sales pitch, the closing still gets done by me and Bradley. Why? Because we enjoy doing it and, you know, it, it, we, we, because we are the most experienced in it, we are, you know, at the moment, the best at it. Obviously, you know, when the agency gets bigger and stuff like that, you know, it'll be great if we can actually have like a sales team that does the closing for us and then from there, you know, uh, all the departments take over. Okay, so from there, we have the project management section. We have two people working here. Uh, let me just write the initials down here. Boom. Boom. Basically what these people do is they make sure that everything runs smoothly. So again, you know, they'll send uh, reports to our clients. They'll keep the communication run smoothly with clients. They're the first, um, like first line of defense. If a client uh, contacts us or if a client sends us a message within Slack, which is a program that we use, you know, this is our first line of defense. They will try and deal with it, you know, as much as possible. If they can't, then either the project development side will do it or, you know, me and Bradley will reply to that message or, you know, deal with it, okay? So uh, from there, we have the project development side of things and th those are the people that actually get the results for the clients. Okay, so again, three people working here. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, let me think. Okay, P and who is the third person? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so what these people do is these people actually get the results. Okay, so they uh, set up the Facebook ads, you know, they scale the wearing ads, uh, they make sure that they kill off the ads that aren't really working. You know, these are our Facebook ad experts, but also our graphic designers. So these people, you know, make sure that the graphics look nice um, for the clients, because we sometimes do project, uh, social media management for the clients still. You know, make sure that the graphics look nice, but also make sure that the graphics of the reports look nice, you know, that everything looks nice, everything looks um, you know, at the highest quality it can be, and that all gets done in the project uh, development section. So this is basically what our agency looks like. So at the moment, we are now a team of 10. In terms of the Facebook ads, we have two ad experts at the moment. Uh, one does uh, the US side of things, and one does the UK side of things. That is like a rough guideline, you know, um, for example, the, our US ad expert also has a few UK clients and vice versa. But we do want to try and keep it that um, the UK side of things deal with the UK clients and then the our US um, ad expert deals with the US clients. But uh, as of now, this is what it looks like. You know, this is um, how the agency runs, works, stuff like that. You know, like I said, team of 10 at the moment. And when we get a client, so let's say, you know, we get a client. Let's see if you can still see this on the screen. Let's say we get a client here. Now what happens? So the client comes in through the sales department, okay? So they do the outreach, they get the client. Once the client is ready to have a meeting with us, uh, you know, me and Bradley take over. So then we have the meeting with uh, me and Bradley. Once we actually land the client, you know, we, we see, okay, what have we agreed with the client? 
Are we doing social media management for the clients as well? Or are we just gonna focus on Facebook ads? What kind of Facebook ads is it lead gen? Or is it actually you no know, sales for e-commerce clients and stuff like that? So once we've got the client, once it's uh, a close, you know, the project management side of things, they'll deal with like the communication, the reporting, you know, we make sure that they're, that they're onboarded properly, that they're on Slack, you know, our communication platform, and then the project development side of things, they make sure that, you know, the ads are working uh, well, that the, the winning ads are getting scaled, the ads that are costing too much money, you know, that they're um, closed off, and also, you know, our graphic designers, they work on all the graphics and stuff like that if we do social media management for these clients. So in terms of you know how much uh, Bradley and I actually do, we do a bit of everything really. So, you know, we still focus very much on the sales. So we are still doing clients outreach ourselves, not as much as we used to because, you know, we've got a sales department now, but, you know, we deal we, on days where there's not a lot to do for us. You know, we are still actively seeking um, clients, you know, trying to set meetings with clients, trying to set up calls with clients because, you know, we generally do, you know, we are passionate about what we do and we really do want to scale this. So, you know, we do like to help out the sales department as much as we possibly can. With that said, you know, if, uh, like, I, you know, like I said, with the uh, project management side of things, um, you know, if it's something that they can't deal with themselves or something that, you know, they don't really know how to, then obviously, you know, we deal with that as well so we do a bit of the project management side of things as well and obviously the project development you know we do we but we are bradley and i are both um very good at ads you know we can we can still do the ads ourselves but our you know project development side of, uh, or department is much much better at it so um you know we can do it and we will look at it you know we will constantly checking the ads see if they are running well seeing what the return ads is and stuff like that same goes for the graphics you know i'm an adequate adequate graphic designer but not the best at it so our project development department you know is better at it but you know we can set up ads ourselves and we do help out there a lot as well so you know bradley and i both do a lot still in the agency you know it's not like we've um like outsourced it to our team anything like that i don't really think that the word outsourcing um for our agency is the right word anymore anyway you know at the start obviously you know we try to get clients outsource them as quickly as possible so we didn't have to do the work i think the right term for this now is team building because we are very much involved in the agency and we are very much trying to scale this agency as well get the best results for our clients have the best relationship with our clients and just prolong that lifetime value of the client and the only way to do that is to be actively involved with everything okay so that is basically what our agency look like that is the structure of our agency that is the process of what a client goes through you know in terms of um, how they come in how they get dealt with and you know how the work gets divided over our um, or spread out over our team and uh, like you know this is something that's taken two years to actually get uh, you know get to this point so when you're just starting out you know, don't get discouraged by this I literally start off on my own Bradley start off on his own and then you know we, we started to work together and all this after it came later you know it just came through a uh, trial and error it was seeing you know what is the next step for us obviously you know it was just us and then we started with one graphic designer then we started focusing on ads so we got one ads guy then we started you know to see you know can we get someone to help us out with the sales we got one person on the sales department and then we just started building from there okay so this is definitely not a uh, uh, chapter one or anything like that so don't get discouraged by this you know you can get there over time it just takes you know a little time a little effort on your side and you know two years down the line you can definitely get to this point as well okay so that's all i've got for today hope you enjoyed this video hope you got something out of it if you've got any more questions about brand Panier, the agency or anything you want to know about social media marketing in general leave a comment down below like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one